Hi everyone, welcome to Minecraft Daily, episode number 200. I'm JC and today is Wednesday the 15th of February 2012. So the big news today is the new snapshot, which is of course 12W07B, is actually being updated from A to B already because of a couple of mob spawning issues that caused the game to crash. So it includes all the things I talked about yesterday, like the higher sky limit, NPC breeding, and also lamps that turn on and off. So on the subject of breeding first, it seems that NPCs actually decide how big the population of their village should be based on how many buildings are in the village. However, this is dynamic. If you build some buildings yourself, villagers will actually try and populate those as well. And apparently they'll count anything with a door and a roof as a building. And of course breeding is now important because the game will now spawn large groups of zombies to attack the villages at night and kill some of the villagers so they can breed and repopulate to keep their village from dying out. However at the moment they can't actually defend themselves very well so unless you intervene I have actually seen a village completely wiped out. So the other exciting thing apart from the higher sky limit which needs no explanation is the new redstone lamps. They look similar to glowstone and are actually constructed by surrounding glowstone with four pieces of redstone above and below and to the sides and they basically turn on when they are powered by a redstone circuit. My friends Minecraft PG5 have actually already tried out making a display with these new redstone lamps. They look a lot nicer than a lot of the old displays where people used to use things like redstone torches instead or sometimes pistons sticking out which didn't look too bad. But with an actual flat group of squares that lights up like pixels it's definitely an improvement. So expect to see a lot of people using them in the future. Apparently the rare item drops on mobs have now been reduced to make them even more rare so that's quite cool and I presume was a balance issue that they're addressing. However of course if you're looking to try out the snapshot there is a couple of bugs which is completely understandable as that is what the snapshots are to test. The current ones being that any new map generated doesn't currently generate any caves underground. And also there's apparently an issue with underground lighting. The higher map limit has also created a big empty space above the upper bedrock in the nether which obviously isn't accessible to players if you're playing in survival but is still a space where mobs can spawn meaning that half the mobs in the nether will spawn above the bedrock and will end up with less mobs actually in the nether where you are. And on the subject of other dimensions, there is also no end stone in the end dimension, making it completely unusable at the moment. So that's a big bug that I'm sure will be fixed ASAP. So some of you may have already heard, Mojang are going to be making a game over this weekend and they're going to be making it for charity and they're going to be live streaming the whole thing from start to finish. They have now put an article up about it over on moyang.com and they've got a little teaser video which is quite amusing and they've also got two polls where you can vote for what kind of game you want them to make and what kind of theme you want the world of the game to be. A lot of the team are apparently flying over to Lego World at the moment as well which I presume is part of some kind of event or meeting concerning the Minecraft Lego. However it was previously reported that we wouldn't actually see any Minecraft Lego until the 16th of March but I'll keep an eye on that just in case. And then finally to regular viewers, sorry I haven't had time to come up with anything special for this being the 200th episode but thank you all for watching for so long, those of you who've been around a while and for continuing to support this show. I have a lot of fun making it and reading your comments and I hope to continue making it for a long time. So I'll be back again with a more regular episode with the answer of question of the day and all of that business tomorrow. And that's all for today so I'll put a link to all of those things in the description 
description of this video over on YouTube. If you find these videos useful, then remember to like and comment, and you can also subscribe by clicking this button up in the corner of the screen now. If you like, you can also leave your own Minecraft videos as video responses to this video, and feel free to share these videos with any of your friends in real life or on your server or whatever, and I will see you tomorrow.